Hello everybody, this is Jay, and these are mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! People have always liked to shoot pretty much whatever they could. When I was a kid, my friends and I used to play a game called Counter-Strike, and we had lots of fun shooting things and blowing stuff up. Kids today learn to kill each other in more modern games and more modern ways. For example, Call of Duty, the brainchild of the Activision company. This is the game we are going to talk about today. Meet Call of Duty Strike Team for Android devices. And today, we are going to kill Russians! I don't know why, but killing Russians has always been fashionable in American games. Come on, guys! The Cold War ended, what, almost 25 years ago now? Find a new bad guy already. You know who doesn't get to be the bad guy very often? Sweden. There, I said it. Now, if they end up making Call of Duty Smorgasbord of Death, then I'll be expecting some residual payments sent my way, okay? Well, anyway, they must be preparing the younger generation for a future expansion or something. Well, we'll talk about that some other time. And now, let's talk about graphics. The graphics are quite good here, though you could have easily anticipated something better from a giant in the industry like Activision. Apparently, it is because of attempts to optimize the game for the widest range of devices as possible. It may seem strange, but when we talk about the Call of Duty series, graphics is not the main thing here. Rather unexpected, isn't it? Nope, the main thing here is the gameplay. The game is quite a cool mixture of tactical strategy combined with the shooter, in addition, the genres can be smoothly transitioned at any moment. The mission begins with choosing the equipment for your detachment. It substitutes various classes of characters here. Initially, we get a look at the field as if seeing it from above. This is the tactical part of the game. Here you can view the location, see the enemy's position, and make up your battle plan in advance. This tactical strategy part is not a turn-based one. You are expected to act in real time. Besides, the game has an interesting feature. You can play almost any mission in stealth mode, hide in closets and dark corners, and take out your enemy from behind without being noticed. Control in this mode, the so-called quadricopter view, is made in the following way. You pick out a fighter and send him to the needed target by a double tap or a simple swipe. Basically, anyone who's used to playing such games should quickly understand and make it out. The controls are easy enough that newcomers should have no problem either. But in the event you reveal yourself and a shootout begins, you can push the key in the upper left corner of the screen and switch to the shooting mode. Control here is standard and comprehensible, so I'll just brush over it. The only feature I can think of mentioning is if you want to switch between fighters, just tap on their nick. By the way, death is not a real concern here. The game is adjusted to an interesting gameplay, more than elevated to a bothersome level of complicacy. On the whole, the project turned out to be interesting and high in quality. It can easily interest a wide audience, from fans of tactics and stealth lovers to shooter fans and then some, so I can freely recommend this game to everybody. That's all for today! If you like this, then subscribe, comment, put likes, and share. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. Bye-bye!